In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create pros and cons template in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first, the positive sides. You can see here I've added a smiley face here. And when I click, it will show me the first, second, third, and fourth positive lines. And when I click, it will show me the negatives. And you can see here with the sad or angry face. And then the text I've added negatives here. And then it will show the negative options here please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to the insert shapes and from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this one, which is the hexagon shape. Draw a small hexagon shape by holding the shift key, something like this. And I'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift key and drag this to the right side. All right. Then next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this shape. So if I, I cannot merge this shape, there's a gap in between. So to fill this gap, I'm going to use a rectangle. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle draw the rectangle something like this you can see it looks like one shape so now i'm going to select all the three shapes go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a union so it looks like a one shape here all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this one only the borders i need to keep for that i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and shape fill give some different color light color and then put it here exactly on top of that one and hold the alt key and just bring it a very much down very little down here so that you can see only the small borders the same thing which i'm going to do here also you can see here and again make sure that this one go to the shape format select both the shapes go to the align center align middle okay and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this for my later use the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select the first shape which is the the one the blue one hold the shift key select this one go to the merge shape and i'm going to subtract it so you can see here i end up getting a shape which looks like this all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i, I would like to add some on the right side some bold uh design here okay or the bold lines for that i'm going to use this one now this one i'm going to reduce it you can see here so this much and again make sure to select both this one align center align middle so i got this one but still i need more than this so i can just select reduce the size further and again make sure to do the line center align middle then i'm going to cut this one so select this one and this one merge shape subtract and then i need only the right side of this one so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the left part and keeping this part only open so select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract so i got this shape here and I'm going to put exactly on top of this one and here I'm going to make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give green color here also shape fill I'm going to give some light green color and send this to back you can see here now you can increase the size if you want you can hold the shift key increase the size and put it like this and for this one also make sure there is no outline so it end up getting us something like this then i'm going to cut this part this particular shape from this side so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and place it here you can see here something is coming here on top of this okay let it be like this so select this shape hold the shift key select this one more shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks like this then I'm going to add one arrow here, go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose this arrow, line arrow. Let me just zoom in. And from here, I'm going to add by holding the shift key. You can see here, I'm going to add 
this small arrow and make sure that this is straight and shape outline make it no outline sorry shape outline make it green all right and if you want you can increase the weight of this one okay so match and then align it properly here all right let me just do the proper alignment and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape here shape outline no outline shape fill the same color so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this now i'm going to select the, all the shapes press ctrl g to group it and if you like you can just increase the size like this you can see here you can hold the shift key and you can increase it also if you want so i'm going to keep it like this press ctrl d to duplicate go to the shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal you can see here and then again flip vertical all right so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this and move it here and you can see here the shape is going outside the area so i'm going to group it ctrl g and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here and ctrl shift g to ungroup it so now this is a positive one and this negative one i'm going to give a red color here so dark red for this one this red and here also this red and for this also this red okay all right so now the next thing which i'm going to add some text here so i'm going to say this is for positive all right here i have put positives and here also i can just put positives and here the font which i'm going to use as arial black increase the size if you want you can make it bold and then i'm going to give this as a green color press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here this is negatives all right and put it here change the color to red and then what you can do is you can add some uh, icons here or if you want you can just draw also so it's easy for me to uh, use some icons so i'm going to select the icons from the insert menu and i'm going to say happy and you can see here i've got this icon i'm going to select this icon click insert and go to insert again icons here i'm going to type sad or angry or whatever so let me just select this icon click insert so here this sad will come with the same color and here the happy face will come with the green color so you can see here again if you want you can make it some dark color also depending on the requirement so once this is done you can add the text so go to insert text box and say add your positive text here and the font color i'm going to use gray color i'm going to use open sans all right and reduce the font size depending on the requirement and here also you can add some icons where i'm going to say the correct or incorrect so again go to insert icons and here i'm going to type correct you can see here click this one select and insert and add one more icon which is incorrect and i'm going to select this one select both uh, this uh, icons has been inserted so this one i'm going to give the red color and this one i'm going to give green color and for this both these options i'm going to make it 50 percent transparent so you can see here and i'm going to reduce the height to 0.5 and then i'm going to put it here you can see here select both this one hold the control shift key drag down again if you want three or four depending on the requirement you can insert the text and here also i'm going to put it here 
press control D I'm going to make it right align and this is the negative text here and then I'm select both I'm going to set both these objects hold the control shift key and drag it down so it looks something like this again align it properly you can see here align it properly and here also you need to align it properly and if you want to do some basic animations you can do the basic animation effect for this particular slide